everything are down if you just came from fighting the sob of your of four years four years you never knew about this you never knew nothing Bro. ladies and gentlemen anybody who's willing to cheat on you is not worth fighting over this guy cheated on you and now you gave him the opportunity to sit back and watch two women fight over him what you think he finna do those is bragging rights honestly what sense did it make to go over there and fight with homegirl huh you went looking for smoke you found fire now your ass looking like a pot of black eyed peas you're absolutely shining today yes what's your name did i my name is mallory cameron I love that name, by the way. Thanks, Cameron. Is it German? No. No. <laughs> You're like, I don't know. What's your name? Oh, you didn't you come up to me earlier? You are absolutely shining today. Bro, how, how do you forget who you tried to talk to the day before? How do you forget? Like, what the fuck? Damn. Mallory was with it too. She was with it. You should have just ignored old girl and let it be. You know what I'm saying? Whatever conversation they might have had afterwards. You know he tried to talk to me yesterday. That's between them. But God, I hate secondhand embarrassment. At your feet. Oh, God. 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 No. Oh, that's scary. That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> white folks white folks I love how you guys handle near death experiences I love it because to be honest with you I probably would have drowned that day I would have been trying to get the hell up out of there which means that I would have jumped in that water and depending on how long you've been here you know I can't swim in that particular situation, I'd have been Michael Phelps for two seconds <laughs> until I sank to the bottom. How do you even get yourself in this type of situation? The service I get at a Jamaican, the service I get at a drive through in Jamaica. Where are your manners? Where's your customer service? All right? Yo, sir. We have any manners or customer service? No, man. Only on Tuesdays and Thursdays. When I have that. When I have that. Gosh, I can honestly say that it's not just Jamaicans that have bad customer service. I'm Grenadian, and Grenadian restaurants also have bad customer service. The thing is, majority of the Caribbean restaurants in America are Jamaicans. They are horrible when it comes to customer service. They are horrible when it comes to making their customers feel welcome. Have you ever been to a Jamaican restaurant and the person just standing there watching you? They don't say good evening. They don't say how you doing. They just... They, and now he's like, oh, 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 hey, um, can I get an oxtail with rice and peas? This way it get tricky. They don't never have it. Can I get a chicken patty, please? We know how to. What the f you mean you don't have that? Hold on, it gets worse. Now you don't order your rice and peas with some oxtail. Ain't no gravy on that. They don't put no gravy on the shit. And then have the audacity to have an attitude when you ask for gravy. Me and you looking at the same plate of food. I know if you was taking that food out for you, you to put some gravy in there. You see, one thing about me, I don't speak on nothing that ain't backed by science and that ain't straight facts. Let me show you. Show me the difference. Tell me who's who. Who's on the right? Who's on the left? You can't tell me. Because they're the same person. Let me ask you this. Have you ever seen them in the same room with each other? Have you ever seen them take pictures with each other? No. Because they're the same person. Who y'all think this is? Don't, don't say Chris Jenner because this is not even Chris Jenner. This is Michael Jackson. This is the king of pop. I rest my case. When the plug come through with that fire. <laughs> I hope she's joking. Or, for real, for real, I hope she was smoking some gas. Because if she dead ass, somebody need to take her camera phone away. Man, where, where's this guy? Oh, man, my girl's gonna kill me, man. I can't believe I lost her dog, man. What's that? Is everything okay? 
I can't find my dog, man. He, he ran. I was walking him. He ran away. You can't help me find him. Yeah, I mean, I'm a huge dog lover, so where, where do you think he went? I don't know. He's somewhere. Uh, I don't know. What's his name? His name is. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? He got stuck. He got stuck. His name's Nick. <laughs> he wish he had stayed in that truck. I know he wish he had mind his business. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. See you. Come here, Charlotte. Where you headed to? Where you headed to? Um, yeah, I got your grandfather the other day. I followed you already. Let me take your number down, though. Y'all should come by the crib later. I got the rooftop pool, all that. And we're going to the Bullshot to Strip Club tonight. Okay, last night, it was good. Oh, it was busting money. Yeah, every time I go down, I throw money and shit like that. You know, it's yeah, all good. We had a couple How long you going to be here? Till next Tuesday. Well, let me take the number down there. I wanted to go um, tonight. What is it called? Rick Ross. Rick Ross? At, uh, what, Lil? Not, uh, I know, Venom. Not Venom, but I got to check the spot up. Mr. Jones? Oh, yeah, let's see you. Come here. I know what y'all want me to comment on, but I'm not going to say anything because it's there. You know, it's there. I don't know if it came with a serial number, but it's there. Ladies, let me tell you the quickest way to lose your man. I have been waiting to see the Ravens play my whole life. I've been waiting for the Ravens to play. I'm from Wisconsin. They came to Lambeau Field. I said, if there is some way I paid for the most expensive tickets, I got the closest to the field. I was so close, I could reach out and probably grab Lamar Jackson. Started off good. I got a towel from a worker. Fourth quarter comes. We're losing. I don't preseason. Lamar Jackson turns around and walks towards us. I whip my jersey off my back as fast as I possibly can. Mind you, my wife is from Europe. She doesn't know shit about football. She don't know what position he plays. She don't even know what he looks like, what his significance is, if, what a throwing a pass, completing a pass, anything is. So she takes the jersey out of my hand to get it signed. Lamar looks her dead in the eyes and says, what's your name? Mind you, it's my jersey, my tickets. I brought her, drove her, paid for everything. No. And look what name she puts on my jersey. No. My name is Andre. She puts her name on my jersey. I fucked up. Oh, You're on the first. Oh, my God. There's grounds for divorce, ma'am. There's grounds for divorce. The fact that she admitted she messed up, though, I mean... You might have another chance, bro. That video might go viral. Lamar Jackson might see it, and you might get another chance, but... Pause. Can I tell y'all something? I'm not a big fan of football. I'm one of those people that when y'all start having y'all football conversations, I get the hell out of Dodge. Y'all ever seen that meme with Homer Simpson crawling back in the bushes? That's me, gang. I don't know a thing about football. I don't play Madden. I don't play NCAA. I don't play none of that. I be feeling some type of way that I'm not up on a football conversation. Because it seems like it's the man thing to do. You know, just hang around, drink some beer, and talk football. Like any room you get in with a bunch of White men, black men, small talk, small talk, football. The basketball conversation, I'm cool with. I'm cool with the basketball conversation, but when it comes to football, I'm out of there.
Fellas, if you have found yourself a woman out the South, and when I say the South, I mean places like Georgia, Louisiana, South Carolina, Alabama, you know, places like that. Mm -hmm. You have indeed found yourself a good thing, a top tier woman at that. But baby, if you have found yourself a woman from Mississippi, oh baby, you may as well take yourself on down to the caves or, or the Zales. Cause you need a ring for her. You done found yourself a wife. Ding, 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 ding. Baby, you have just hit the jackpot. Let me tell you something, baby. A woman from the silk. Ooh, she gonna hit every single time. Fellas, if you have found just Why is she talking to us like this? I've never met a woman from Mississippi. I've met dudes from Mississippi. And like they cool as hell. So I you know, I'm guessing the women are probably cool too. They country as fuck though. I'll let you know that, boy. TJ, TJ, you country as hell, dog. <laughs> Who the f wants a dog because I'm getting the f rid of mine? I don't. <laughs> what? Yo, I had works. <laughs> Oh my god. I had work so I put him in the bathroom instead of putting him in his goddamn crate all day and oh my god. How do you even fucking fix that? Work has been such shit today too. <laughs> Somebody come take this dog away. I'm done with him. You already know I'm not a fan of dogs. I'm gonna watch my words because I know we have a lot of dog lovers out there now with them type of problems. I've been in a similar situation, but I didn't own the dog. I was just dog sitting. My boy Beat Put had just gotten a pit bull. So the pit bull might've been like three months old, but he had to go back to Jersey. So he went to Jersey for like two weeks. I had to hold the dog down. I had the cage, I had everything, you feel me? I thought I was doing everything right. I took him out in time so he could take his doodle. -doo. Took him out in town so he could pee. You take him out so he could walk, you know? Things I see dog lovers do. Now, I'm not familiar with owning a pet, but, right? The only thing was, I used to put him in the bathroom, and when I went to work, I would lock the cage. I don't know if I wasn't locking the cage right, or maybe the cage was just trash. Because my man figured out ways to open the cage. The first time he opened the cage, he doodled and peed all over the bathroom. I was hot. I was hot. I almost caught a case that day. I'm telling you right now. Cleaned it up. Take him outside. Do all that. The very next day. I want you to listen to me carefully. The very next day, he did the same thing. He opened the cage, bro. He opened the cage, and then on top of that, I don't know how he opened the bathroom door. This To this day, I still can't figure out how he opened the bathroom door, but he opened the bathroom door and doodled and peed all over my apartment. Now, based on the distance between the doodle piles, he doodled about three times. But what he did was he stomped in the doodle and ran throughout the house. You know what's crazy? I feel as though that might be the reason why I don't like pets now. That simple, well it wasn't simple, but those two weeks that I had to babysit this man's dog might be the reason why I can't stand pets now, bro. Oh, you're gay now. Okay, this is the number one question I've gotten since I started dating my girlfriend who happens to be trans. I'm straight. I am attracted to women and Eden is undeniably a woman. Her being trans does not make me gay. She is hot as fuck. If I wanted to be with a man, I'd go be with a man, not Eden. And I think it's just that simple. Sir, I don't want to say nothing crazy. I ain't trying to get canceled. But sir, in 2,000 years, when they dig up your girlfriend's skeleton and they do whatever test they need to do on it, on the paper, it's going to say male. They're going to say, we have found a male corpse. We have found the remains of a male. Regardless of what surgery she might have had, regardless of what makeup, none of that matters. She was born a man. And I'm being nice by saying technically, but technically you crossing the street.